how do we help each other? We're in this together. This is not a me show. This is not a you show. This is an us thing. I'm Samar Hattar. I'm the owner of Blissful Events. And Blissful Events is a wedding planning company that, that I started in 2007. And since I started the company and since, I should say since COVID, the company has kind of taken an expansion and we now also do kind of grand proposal planning and we're dipping our feet into venue consulting, which we had been doing a lot before. We were doing it because it was something we could do, but not necessarily, we didn't like have it under our umbrella. Uh, so that's what I do. And the reason I love doing what I do is because I, this is going to sound really cheesy, but I love love. I am the person who wants to help everyone celebrate their love. I want people to just be happy. I want to create more happiness in the world. And that's my way of doing that. That's like my little corner of the world. And I adore everything about it. And I adore the people and the industry. It's, it's something that I can talk about all day. So it was, it's an honor to be here and get to talk about it for a little bit. Obviously coming off of a year like last year, based on the year we're in, that's kind of an easy answer about challenge. So obviously invite you to talk about that and what you've had to overcome in that and how you've transition things um, to continue to celebrate love, but any, any challenge you've had and, and how you've overcome them um, would be really great. I think we always learn so much from one another. So I'd love to hear some of those if you'd like to share. So challenges, I mean, in the last year, just in general have been, you know, outrageous as many of you on this call today are in the events industry you know what happened here. I mean, we, for the people who aren't, we literally have been shut down. We like completely 100% shut down for the majority of the time. When we were able to reopen, we were able to do little, you know, elopements, which I'm calling micro weddings. So we're doing, you know, 10 to 12 people micro weddings. And coming from someone who's used to doing luxury events, you can imagine what, you know, the toll that took on my business and really all of the, the people that, that I have the privilege of being able to work with. So one of the ways of overcoming that is for me this year is really creating jobs for people. I tried to stay as focused as I possibly could on the fact that this is not about me, that this is not personal. This, this pandemic is not personal. This whole situation is not personal. We're all in this together. And the best thing I could be doing is not panicking because people do rely on me. As many of you are owners of your own businesses, I'm sure that you have people who are relying on you. And if you have a little bit of a freak out moment, everything else falls apart. I don't necessarily have a ton of staff. Um, I have assistants that I hire on a need basis. I've actually had to let go of everybody. And it is a one woman show. You're looking at you're looking at every single thing that happens here besides my website, everything else is me. But when I talk about people that are affected by what I do, I'm talking about my vendors in the community that's around me. So I'm in a privileged position that um, I get to create jobs for other people, meaning as a wedding planner, I have to find the florist and the DJ and the rental company and the, you know, this and then that and catering and everything for for this client. So I have the unique opportunity to say, I think this, this would be the perfect fit for my client and being able to give a job to, to another person. I tried to stay really focused on that this year. And with that, what I did was I created something called a micro wedding package. It's an all-inclusive package. I wanted to stay really true to my brand. And that would be one of the things that I would say has been the driving force for me is, is knowing who I am and staying true to that and not, you know, there's so many ways that we can all be steered away. Just like I say to my couples, you know, you go on Pinterest when you start planning your wedding and everything looks beautiful. And now you have 800 ideas of what you want your theme of your wedding to be. But the idea is that you stay true to you. So I feel like it's the same exact thing. We just have to stay true to who we are. Just me being full of integrity to myself and my business and just saying, you know, my job here is to help other people. That was helping me. So with that micro wedding package, what we did was, I think we have something like 15 different vendors that are involved. It's still a luxury package. So I'm still staying true to my brand. And we were able to do that for a really, you know, a really, really amazing cost for people who still wanted to have that wedding, who still wanted to be able to say, 
you know, I do to the love of their life and not have to wait, not have to figure out when they can do this. It's, it's been really heartbreaking to see couples go through that. So being able to stay really true to who I am and saying, this is not about me has been the driving force of, of getting through the challenge and creating jobs for my community and, and supporting my community. I mean, the friends I've made, I think in this past year alone, being in this industry since 2007 has not compared. I'm seeing like, I'm seeing all the nods and, you know, I've just been able to take the time to really personally bond with other vendors and say, how do we help each other? We're in this together. This is not a me show. This is not a you show. This is an us thing. And um, how can I be here for you? And can, how can I help you? And, you know, and there's no competition here. If you're another planner, I'm happy to help you too, or you're happy to help me. And it's just, it's just become a whole, you know, other, other beautiful bonding experience for me. Thank you.